What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Miles World. Today we're going to be talking about creating any theme team in about 20 minutes, all right? Now, when I did the 49ers theme team, it took me about 20, 25 minutes to do it. And the only reason it took me the additional time was because the 49ers have so many different options. Now, some of you guys still want to know, what's the purpose of a theme team, okay? The purpose of a theme team is to get additional chemistries, um, you know, team chemistries added with the attributes to the entire team. So anybody that's a 49er or that has played for the 49ers are gonna get all of these things that I'm showing you on the right side. All right, so what, what does that do? How does that impact your team? You know, adding all these things, the strength, jump, agility, acceleration, speed. The honest answer to that question is you're gonna have different, um, you're gonna have different viewpoints from different people. Some people like myself, we know that, um, we know that certain attributes just doesn't matter. Like jump, jump for instance, right? A dude with a very high jump, if that person happens to be a middle linebacker, he couldn't jump over a dead cockroach. So if somebody throws the ball right at you, you're not gonna be able to pick it because EA has completely nerfed the ability of line, uh, you know, middle linebackers and just general, in, in, in general, linebackers to jump over the football. It doesn't make any sense, but that's part of the game, okay? Um, I understand that the ball hawk has been an issue in previous years, Maddens, and, um, you know, many of us were like, yo, what's going on? Why is this guy jumping 95 feet in the air um, to catch a pick? But to completely take away the ability for um, a person like, you know, Leonard Floyd, for instance, a 6'6 player to jump for the ball that's right in front of him, that's kind of ridiculous. Also, Julius Peppers, if I put him at linebacker and I have him in zone, I've actually been dotted through my face with him like one inch away from the player that's trying to catch the ball. So that really frustrates me. So I just wanted to point that out, that certain attributes, in my opinion, from what I've seen and the gameplay that I've put out, you guys can see from my viewpoint that it really doesn't matter as far as jumping goes. Will that change? I don't know. Probably not in this gear, uh, this game for this year of Madden because I think that that's the way that they wanted it. But I don't think that it's something that should continue to go on because players should play differently based on it. Anthony Barr, you know, he's been the user god for, you know, he took over from Julius Peppers when Julius Peppers was user god back in the day and he can't jump. You know what I'm saying? Like he's 6'5 running around and I, I, had to, I had to rage sell him because dudes are like, yo, this happened earlier in the year when I actually realized it because when they announced it, I didn't know that it would be that crazy. So as far as jump goes with the team abilities, um, that's one of the attributes that I just say, you know what, it doesn't really matter. But as far as everything else that you get from the theme team, I just want you guys to understand, I look for the 25 and I look for 50 if I'm gonna do it because you get the speed and speed is key even though in certain cases it doesn't matter. Like we all know Tyreek Hill can get chased down by a D tackle, he can get covered by a middle linebacker. It's weird, but it's part of the game, all right? So now, what do we look for when we're creating a theme team? The number one thing that we do is this. You can get a pen and a pencil, you can use your iPhone, your Android, go to your notepad, and you can write down the positions. That's the number one thing. This is exact, I'm gonna give you guys exactly how I did it. Write down every position. We all know left tackle, left guard, center, right guard, right tackle, tight end, right? We know that. You write that down, you write down the second level. Wide receiver one, three, you know, you got the four, two, fullback one, two. You write down all of these positions, okay? After you do that, you then go to defense. You write down every single position. Now, if we keep it in our minds, yeah, you can do it. All right, you know, I know that we need, you know, we got four middle linebacker slots. I know we got right outside. I know we got left outside linebacker. For me, it's just easier if I write it down. And then as I look at the players, I can jot down names and I can figure out, okay, this guy played for this team. This guy played for that team as I do it inside of the, um, the auction house. So just, you know, giving yourself an idea of what it is it kind of works out better because that's why I was able to do it so easy because I, you know, I, I just wrote down everything and then I put like the initials of the players that actually played for the team and then players like Kevin Green, you just got to know that you would need that power up. You got to know that Deion Sanders played for the 49ers. Um, I'm going to go over different various teams that, you know, pretty much um, you can go through and, you know, you look at it like, oh, this guy played for that team. Oh, this guy played for that team. A lot of players played for many different teams. So you don't have to just stay stuck. Oh, because I want this theme team, uh, this guy's in this uniform. You know what I'm saying? Because like you can see that they have Dion in a Dallas Cowboy uniform. And if you didn't watch football or if you're new to Madden, you go, like, oh, he's a Dallas Cowboy. But yeah, but if he have his power up, you could change that team. So you're going to want to take a look at some of those things as you go through it because that's ideal. And that's where the value of a power up comes in. Because 
a guy like D Ford that played for the Kansas City Chiefs, and we all know, what did he do? Jump off sides or something and the Patriots won? Everybody pretty much hates him for it, but things happen. So you can go ahead and easily do that even though you see him in a Kansas City Chief uniform. And a lot of people have been saying that like, yo, G Maya, how did, why is that guy, uh, you know, a 49er? How are you doing that? What's going on? Those are great questions because many of us, you know, we don't realize, you know, Kevin Green played for the 49ers. You see him in the Pittsburgh uh, outfit. So you're going to pretty much have to look at power ups for specific players as you determine what theme team you're going to want. All right. Because those guys as backups, you know, DeForest Bruckner, these guys, D Ford, um, it's huge to, to getting your theme team done. All right. Remember, I'm going to go ahead and point it out again. Special teams counts as well. Now, special team players are unique because, um, uh, like, say for, say, for instance, if you want to go with the 49er punter, they only have a rookie right now, right? And his overall is very, very low. So if you were working on the overall of your team, he wouldn't be an ideal punter um, at this point uh, for, for your theme team. So you probably wouldn't want to utilize that to be a part of the upgrades for you getting the 25 players or whatever else you're doing to try to get the speed because he would lower your overall very heavily with a 70 something uh, overall. So I just wanted to point out that these guys, kickers and punters are people too. And uh, they count, you know, even though we don't really think about them as, as real NFL players um, for, for the most part, because they only come in to either, you know, win the game or lose the game in the mo you know, in most cases. So they get a very, very strong rap for very, very limited time on the field. Uh, but they do count as far as their chemistries go. All right, so now that we know that, the next thing that you're gonna to wanna to look at are the players that give you the times two and the times three. All right, what does that mean? George Kittle, who happens to be a theme diamond, gives us times two. If your team is somebody else, I'm gonna show you inside of the, um, the whole breakdown inside of the set with the theme kings of why he, well, he's not a theme diamond, he's a theme king, uh, correction, theme king. Um, he gets times two. All right, so the theme kings get time two and the theme diamonds, they get uh, times three. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it. I'm gonna show you what's going on. So you go over here and you'll see the times two here. And it's simply because EA gave him that ability due to him being part of the theme king program when the game was first launched. So whatever your respective team is, I'm gonna show you in the set, that's gonna be a guy you're going to need in order to get that boost because you need that too. So you have a theme, you have a theme king, and you have a theme diamond. So for my team, it's George Kittle and it's Hanks on defense, all right? I wanna point out to you guys that Hanks is not powered up and he still gets the times three. And you guys, my great viewers, are the ones that told me that I don't need the whole card. You see what I'm saying? You see how we work together? I went and powered him up full not even looking at it at his power up to see that he gets it regardless, even with his lower power up status, I went and powered him up all the way and thought that that's how I unlocked it. No, you just need the power up and you get times three of the 49ers can because he is the theme diamond for the respective team. So that's already five. So that leaves you with the, you know, you need 20 more players. So you're gonna wanna look for that. Now, Kurt Warner uh, gets a lot. I don't know if he gets it for all 32 teams, but he gets times three uh, at least for the Rams, I know that. Uh, so when you look at that, I would have to go ahead and you know reevaluate it, but I believe he gets times three for most teams uh, or any team he played for. He's also another one that's a glitch that kind of gets you to the next level of boosting your theme team very, very quickly. So those players are unique and they're ideal and usually their power-ups may go for you know a decent amount because people know that they're part of theme teams. You know what I'm saying? So they're not gonna give it to you cheap. Now, before we finish up going through the players that I chose and before we get to the auction house, I'm gonna go through what I just uh, spoke to you about as far as the theme kings and the theme diamonds. Now, when you go into the sets, you're gonna go and you're gonna find the theme, um, the theme builders category, right? Now, these are the theme diamonds. These are the unlock challenges for the theme kings, all right? So the, the, the theme king players, you gotta play through all the solos if you wanna get their elite and their theme king for free. All right, so you don't have to pay for this. You can actually use some of the collectibles that you get, unlock these things, and then go to the missions, play the missions, and get everything for free. Keep that in mind, all right? So you don't have, the theme, the theme kings, you don't have to pay for. This is just the grind, all right? You get their base uniforms, you get the playbooks, the stadium, and the coach, and then you unlock the solos to get the base elite, the power-up, and the actual theme king player. 
So if you are looking to go ahead and get a theme, a theme uh, team for any of these teams, you would want to go ahead and do this. Now, this is not necessary because you can use training to bypass the theme king. So this is not necessary. I just did this because it was earlier in the year and I wanted to see what was good. You know what I'm saying? The one thing that I don't like about this though is that you don't really see who the player is on the screen. You have to actually unlock it and then you go to the missions and then you'll see it there. I don't think that EA kind of, you know, thought this part out like to show the players or whatever. Um, but, you know, other than that, these are the theme kings. So you're going to get times two from any of these players on this list. So. I would urge you to go ahead if you want to get it for free you unlock it by using one of your collectibles for the theme king that you get from just upgrading your team um you know by going level to level um you unlock it and then from there you play the solo you get everything for free and then that's it now the theme diamonds you got to pay you know what i'm saying like you really just got you, you got to put in work like this is this ain't gonna be easy but these guys gives you um you know they give you times three so with the way that it works with this one, why it's different from the other one, you gotta actually have cards, all right, to put into sets to get these things done. Like you gotta literally go through this to get this done in order to um, unlock them if you wanna go this route. Now, at this point, they are very, very cheap. So any theme diamond that you would need, I don't believe that they're very, very expensive. Um, could their price uh, have gone up since the last time that I've checked? Maybe. But in all actuality, they're not expensive at all. All right, so you can just go buy these cards outright. Or like I said, you go ahead and get the power up. You just go buy the power up and then get that times three from that. From any of these theme diamonds, doesn't matter which one it is, from any of the theme diamonds, you go ahead and you grab it, that's it. Um, but like I said, with this, they show the players so you kind of see what you're getting, which is what I, I like it this way. Because they show it to us like, all right, these players, all right, I'm doing the Saints, all right, cool. It's Deuce McAllister. The other side with the Theme Kings, you got to go to missions to kind of see who the player is. So any of the teams that you're trying to build, you would you would definitely need these players to get the times three. Now, um, this guy's the Theme Diamond Master, so I'm assuming that he gets, you know, times three for every team. But again, I'm not 100% sure, so I'm not going to say that. I just know that you get the times three for any team that he did play for. So if you want to buy him, um, I believe that it probably would be... Um, I don't know. Does he have a power up? I don't know if he gets a power up. Oh, you just get you just get a theme diamond master set. Well, we go put it in in the auction because that's where we're going next to go ahead and uh, finish what we're doing. So remember, plus two for theme king, plus three for theme diamond. Now let's go to the auctions and go check out some stuff right now and see what's happening in the store. Um, we're gonna type in Kurt Warner just to see and make sure because I'm not sure if he does have a power up or not, or if it's just you just get his card and then you just good to go with it. Let's go ahead and check that out right now. Um, and we can go from there. And uh, another question that I've been asked regularly, would it make sense to have Kurt Warner as your backup, even though he costs, you know, whatever he costs? All right, he's 346 right now. All right, is it worth it for your theme team to have this guy to give you a three uh, a three player boost? Is it worth it? Because remember, you're not, this guy, you can't, you can't use this guy. Like his numbers, 87 throw power, 58 speed, you serious? Like who's running around with this guy? He couldn't outrun an infant. So you're not going to go ahead and use this guy, I don't think. He was good for a little bit because, you know, a lot of, you know, when he first came out, it was just exciting to complete the set. Now everybody knows he's trash. It's not a big deal. But he has value due to the fact that he can give you that plus three, whatever, you know, whatever it is to your entire team. So that's something that if you wanted to get the easier boost, because remember, two, king, you get three for the diamond, uh, the theme diamond. If you get this guy also, that's another three. So you're already eight. You know what I'm saying? You're eight right there. You only need 17 more players to get the 25 for the plus one speed. Some of you guys that I'm going to get to right now are psychos and you already have 50 of 50 with the plus two speed or the acceleration. If you're one of those psychos, let me know in the comments because I got to give you props, bro, to go out there with like a full theme team and have 50 of 50. That is glitchy. As the year goes on, EA gives you more opportunity to get higher rated players with a little bit more of the team chems to make it easy. But this early in the year, the guys that are running around with 50 of 50, you guys are straight goats and your hustle is crazy because I'm not doing that. Now, we see that we see what's going on with Kurt Warner. Um, he is a theme diamond master, so we're going to go ahead and assume that everybody gets plus three from him. Now, remember what I said, when you write down the positions, it makes it that much easier. Let me explain to you why. When you come over here, like the QB is the easy position, right? You QB, first of all, for me, 
we're just gonna use the team that I already used, all right? Because we went to the 49ers and this is how I did it. So when we go to it like this, right? And we see all the QBs, we see Steve Young. You can just scroll through, kind of see what's going on. Um, you know, you see Jimmy G, whatever. Uh, you scroll through it, see what's available, see what's going on, and it kind of gives you the, you, you can assess it to know if you're gonna have two players from each position. And then you simply go through it and you know, and remember, this is after you get your theme diamond and your theme king. So you already have at least five. Everybody should be looking for 20 because like I said, getting 25 of the 50 gets you plus one speed. So that's what you're looking for. You don't gotta go crazy and try to get the 50. That's not what this is about. Trying to get the 50 is like a little bit crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if that's something that you guys, you know, wanna do, whatever. I just wouldn't recommend just outright going after the 50. That, that's just like, yo, bro, you ain't gonna sleep for days. Like, that's a lot of stuff that's going on. Plus, depending on the team that you pick, you still might get dominated because the players don't have the attributes and the stats that are needed to actually compete. So be careful with that as well. So you go through it, you see the halfbacks, um, you try to figure out, all right, so these guys, this, this, and then you see what's going on with it, um, and you can gauge it. Now remember, once the player gets like an 88, you get the times two or whatever of the theme of the schemes, like the you know the go deep, the power run, zone run, whatever. So if you can get higher rated players, that probably would be the better bet if you wanted to do that, um, you know, just to make it easier. But if you get the opportunity to get multiple parts and multiple running backs, remember you could get up to three. So that's just adding a lot more. Um, you can write down the amount of spaces that you have for each position. But for me, I just took it step by step and just went right through the lines and just was able to see every single thing. Now, remember the players that get the power ups um, that don't show as 49ers, that is where you would have to do a little bit of research onto which ones go where, um, you know, cause many players have played for different teams and they won't show up. For instance, like, I don't know how they do it. Like I know the legends would have you know, they'll have something that will show you guys, um, you know, this guy played for this team, this guy played for that team. But you see like how we're on the left outside linebacker and I showed you Kevin Green um, and it doesn't come up. That can be confusing. You know what I'm saying? Like it could definitely be confusing. So what I would recommend is this. If you go, like once you know that he played for a certain team, I think they have it for like, you know, the way that this is right here, where they'll show you all the power ups and then you can just search it through that. Um, that that to me is a little bit easier to get it done because you will be spending a lot of time trying to figure out like, yo, this guy played for this guy, like Kevin Green, there he is right there. Oh, this guy played for that guy. Um, you won't have to spend as much if you could find the right amount of power-ups for these players, but I'm just pointing it out that on my theme team, you saw Kevin Green with a 49er chem, but if you search left outside linebacker with 49ers, he will not pop up. So once you Google it and see who played for this team or whatever, however you choose to figure it out, I don't care what your means are. Um, some of us just know that players play for other teams. If you find out, you come in here and you search by the power up in the position, and then you can type the name in to make it easier. All right, I just wanted to make sure that guys understand that it's not going to come up. If the, you know what I'm saying, the power ups like that, you're gonna have to kind of, you know, put some work in with that. So as you go through it, uh, you'll be able to see you know, which players are which and whatever. I wanna point out that the middle linebacker position is a very, very huge position. Why is it a huge position? Because it gives you so many, it's like four of them. If you can get four, like if you have four middle linebackers on your theme team, that is like, a yo, it's so much easier to get it done. You know what I'm saying? Like it just makes it that much easier to complete everything that you're gonna need. Um, and I wanna make sure that everybody understands that you know, it's something that you should definitely look to getting done because it just makes, it just opens up spaces for so many other things. Now, this is what's weird, right? You see like how I just showed you the left outside linebacker and um, it didn't come up as a 49er. Patrick Willis, I believe only played for the 49ers. So he came up as a 49er. This is what's, in this is what's interesting though. I think the other dude, what was he, a Steeler? Um, now that we're talking about the other guy that was there, let's go to, um, left outside linebacker and see if he pops up there because it, it goes based on that okay so that's tj watt uh, yeah so kevin green pops up because that's his uniform 
So I guess it's based, you know, on the uniform that they're in for the team. But that doesn't mean that that's the only team that they played for. So you're going to, like I said, whichever way you find out that a player that you're looking for played for another team, the cheapest way is to go power up route. All right. That, that right there is going to solve a lot of your issues. And you'll just be like, all right, you know what? I'm going to do it this way. And I know this guy played for that. I looked it up. I found out the information here. I'm going to go power up route, have him as a backup. And then you can have your starter as whoever. Because remember, the head start with the theme diamond, the theme king, the theme, the theme master, however you do it, that only leaves you a certain amount. And remember, ideally, we're looking for that plus one speed, which is why Randy Moss is a 95 overall on my team. And he's a 96 speed. And we're waiting for his NFL 100 player to just go crazy because we were able to get that plus one speed and make him faster than other players uh, were at that time. Right now, with the way everybody's running around with Denzel Ward, Deion Sanders, Night Train Lane, it is very, very hard for Randy Moss to burn people, um, including, um, you know, anybody. Like, he can't burn a middle linebacker. But again, regardless of that situation, that doesn't matter here. We need to focus on getting that plus one speed with the theme team. So this is pretty much what you would do with every single team that you would want to do. All right, and that's how you would work it. That's how you would get it done. You go step for step. Uh, some players only have one person at a position, whatever. When that happens, you try to find a power up and you add something to that because the power up is really the glitch. That's really what the major thing is when, it, when you know, in regards to the theme team. Um, you know, finding those power ups of the players that played for several teams and utilizing that ability to then add that player to your team. So you go through it, like I said, paper and pen, have everything you know set up kicker punter whatever everything and you and you get it you go step by step and ideally you start with the 25 which is the key to get the plus one speed there goes the punter right there if you if you needed that but he's like i said he's very low overall and then once you go through all that you'll be like oh this is pretty easy once you put him in the, once you put him in into your lineup it automatically starts to show you how many of that team you have and then before you know it your theme team is going to be equipped with players everybody's going to get the plus one speed and as long as you pick the right skill position uh, to utilize, because you got to make sure. Remember, Randy Moss, Terrell Owens, Jerry Rice, Deion Sanders. I have a lot of 49ers. Kittle, Walker, all of these guys are getting plus one speed. So, you know, just imagine Kittle running around already with a 90 speed. His next car is going to be insane. So, you know, choose your theme team wisely. But with using these tips, you'll be able to do any theme team in a matter of 20 minutes. I want to thank you guys and girls for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up. See you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.